Hello and welcome to the studio and thank you very much for joining me here today again in Wales, UK where we paint away the stress of everyday life. So before I get started, I'm actually painting on some paper. Wait for it, paper. It's not actually watercolour paper. Um, it's just a, a, an art pad that I found in the drawer. So before we start, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, click the notification bell under the subscription button and um, set your notifications to all that way you will never miss a video from myself because i upload every monday so as you could see i'm actually drawing a little bit of a pathway or road um, i'm quite decided exactly what i'm doing but i wanted to try and explain perspective so we've got an horizon line and we are standing on a road or a path i'm going to put a couple of trees in maybe some um, posts or something like that just to show that things in in the foreground are going to be a lot bigger than they are in the distance to give you that type of um, perception of the painting going away from you as a viewer so it's called um, perspective basically so you can see what I mean as I'm doing it now if you think I my voice is a bit ropey today uh, it is because um, I've actually lost the audio for this so I've had to um, <laughs> re-edit the audio so I'm talking over a painting that I've already done which is very unusual for me I can normally talk away the stress of everyday life here in Wales as I'm painting and um, yes I've got a job to um, uh, to, to, to be quiet sometimes so i'm sitting here in the studio i'm talking i'm voicing over this painting as i'm watching it um on my computer so i've just started with a little bit of ultramarine blue and got a little bit of white i've mixed that got that wonderful wonderful sky color i'm just adding a little bit of white into that sky just to give it that um essence of some some like fluffy fluffy cloud in the sky like that you, you know you got to get that really nice blue sky and and um the light is shining on it and you get that that white showing through and it's it's just a wonderful type of sky you know what i mean i hope you do anyway so it's it's, it's like little bits of cloud in there but it, it's all like merged together so you don't know what's blue and what's white and where these clouds are so i might actually put some more clouds in in a minute so yes we've had some wonderful weather here this last month or so in wales it's been a very very warm um i'm actually off to the lake district um which is up um by um for, for those people abroad that don't know much about england or uk um it's up, up around about the uh, liverpool area blackpool liverpool up that way um Lancaster it's called um, uh, so the Lake District is up in that so it's, as you look at the U on the map of the UK it's on the um, in the middle on the left hand side um, up there somewhere <laughs> so I'm going to continue painting this and you might hear me slurping if I'm slurping it's because I got a nice hot coffee in my hand so I'm gonna have a little drink just to keep the old voice box uh, um, working and I want to thank everybody for some wonderful, wonderful comments, um, which I'm hoping um, as I go along, um, I'll, I'll share with you. Um, and, and I'm going to have a, I did have my phone with me. Where's my phone? I've, done, I've lost my phone. No, no. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So I've had some wonderful comments over the last few weeks. And, um, you know, you, you're loving my tips and things like that. So I've got, um, I've got a, a, a tip video coming out um, next week now um on brushes and things so we, we'll get to that we'll get to that one and hopefully everything will work sometimes we we got stuff in the studio and um you know they, they fail you know, i'm getting old it's my birthday coming up and i'm i'm looking forward to that because i'm going away as i said to the lake district so i'm gonna have a nice little break so yeah we're gonna put a little bit of distant um mountain shapes or something i'm just going to play around now with um some shapes in the in the in the, in the distance um, i don't use a lot of detail you don't need to use a, a lot of detail in in paintings really speaking now uh, the point i want to try and um get to uh, here today is that you there's a lot of people said why do you paint on cardboard and why do you paint on papers and stuff like that but i've got a lot of um craft boards i've got a lot of um, um 
painting pads and things like that. It's the shame not to use them. Now, I'm not the best artist when it comes to watercolors and such like. So acrylics, I find very universal in that respect because you can thin them down as much as you like with water. But there is a caveat attached to that, that the only way you can get away with using the watercolors very, very thin um, and a lots of moisture, lots of water added to them is the fact that if you can use cardboard, uh, paper, any absorbent surface that is going to um, soak in those um, pigment particles of paint, basically, and um, allow them to attach themselves to that surface so they don't flake or, 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 or flake off or, or that type of thing, you know, as they dry out. Now, that's another thing I'm going to touch on in a second is how long it takes acrylic paints to dry because there's a misconception there as well. So, um, yeah, if you, if, if, you, if you paint on anything too shiny or too greasy, uh, acrylic paint won't stick. It just won't. Um, and it's always advisable, always advisable as I'm shading this background in a little bit now with a, just a little touch bit more of that color uh, after I misted it off with a bit of white. There you go. And um, I'm going to build some trees in as well. I'm going to be working on the path and the midground shortly. Is that um, you should always, 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 always prime your surface. Even if you buy a canvas, you should prime it. Even if it comes pre-primed, some canvases, um, and surfaces you buy um, are, are pre-primed and they only sprayed on with a, a water-based, well it's basically a, a very thin acrylic paint, I'm putting some shadow into the into the pathway now. So, um, but as a, as a manufacturing process carries on, you will find that there is little dents, little dinks, there's little spot marks and sometimes the paint comes out of these sprays a little bit thicker in some spots and others. Um, also, you get some grease spots by handling. Um, they're covered with plastic, PVC plastic covers. Sometimes they, they, they break or get punctured and dust particles enter. And your painting surface is not clean and dry and free from contaminants, um, as you may think. So they should always be um, primed by yourself with a little bit of gesso or, or acrylic primer. Um, which we'll talk about again in another video. So making sure your painting surface is always clean and dry and free from contaminants. And then you will have, have, no, have no problems whatsoever. But when we come back to painting on paper and cardboards and things like that, I always, always, always give them a quick little coat of gesso. And um, because it just, it just helps with that paint. And I like a little bit of a rough texture to my my surface that I paint on and that's a personal preference you don't have to do that if you're painting on paper or cardboard or anything like that so I'm building up the um, pathway as you can see it's a little bit darker in the foreground I'm going slightly lighter to the midground and it's going to be lighter again towards the background there um, and that's just going to make that um, illusion of distance so we've got the, they've got the, the, the little mountain and some shadowing things in for some trees there, as you can see in the, in the distance, which is very, very light. And as you come in towards me now with my brush, you can see the path is getting darker and darker, darker as I approach myself. So you've always got, you've already got that illusion of, of something going away from you into the painting, which is the illusion we are trying to make there. So all pretty well and good so far so i'm just going in with some darker tones now just to try and bring a little bit of life to this painting a little bit of um mid-ground if you would uh coming in so i'm putting the dark tones in just add a little bit of burned umber a little bit of green that i've got on my palette um i've, I've added a little bit of um raw sienna i think to this as well I just wanted that dark greeny type of uh, tone to it and you can see I'm just tapping the brush I'm not I'm not worried about I'm not worried about um, um, details a lot of my paintings aren't even my commissions are not about detail and you can get so carried away with details sometimes it's uh, it, it can 
it can be very time consuming and um, very demoralizing for yourself, especially if you're a, a, a beginner that you want to get everything perfect. And art is not about perfection. Art is about illusion and the, um, the ability to express yourself in, in the form of paint onto a painting surface and getting people to see what you see through your eyes and a lot of people can't do that a lot of people can't see what you're trying to to um to show them but there's a lot of people out there that can and it, art is in the eyes of the beholder as they say so i'm just putting a little bit of green down to emulate or a little bit of yellow um it's a very 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 pale green actually it looks more yellow on camera but it's a very very pale very very pale green um, i'm just going to bring a bring a bit of light into this painting now so let's see if we can't bring this um, paint into life. So I'm just going to bring that um, to the other side as well. I've decided they're going to be a bunch of trees. As you can see, I've already got the shape and form in with just minor, basically simple little dips and dabs of a paintbrush. You've already got that. Oh, it's a tree feeling. So I'm just going to bring a little bit, a bit more color into there like that. And that's just going to um, act as a little bit of shade. So this is what we call blocking in. So all we're doing is getting the base colors down. Um, I'm trying to develop that that feeling of distance. I'm trying to um, get the tones of colors I want. I'm looking to um, bring this painting to some sort of shape. Um, this is going to allow me just to put a few dis decent little dips and dobs and little lines in here. And, and very, very small amounts of detail just to get the, what I try and see in my mind's eye across to you as the viewer. And it's always difficult to try and paint a painting um, on camera and, 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 and narrate over it as well. But what's even harder sometimes is to be able to paint a painting and then lose the audio on it and then have to do more audio and remember what you've done and what you've said. <laughs> it's, it's quite hard. Making videos for YouTube is not as easy as you may think. So I want to thank you all for being here with me today. And um, don't forget, there's a notification button down the bottom there. Um, don't forget to click the notification bell. Um, a lot of people are just watching my videos um, and not no, um, getting the notification set in right. Make sure you click to all so you'll always get a video uploaded from me on a Monday at 7.30 Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, 7.30 p.m. every evening and whatever that is in your time zone, I, I always upload on a Monday so you shouldn't miss out. And there's always bonus videos as well during the week where I talk about tips and and possibly some um, comments that I get, which I'm working on several videos at the moment um, on, on paper and trying to plan those out as well. So you've got all that coming up in the future months as well. And um, I've done over 500 paintings for YouTube. So there's plenty of lessons there for you covering all different types of subjects. So please have a look at the main channel, go to the main channel, uh, which is Clive Five r to search that in the YouTube search bar. And then um, you can go and have a look at what I've uploaded in the video tab. And there's also playlists there as well, which are all um, categorized for you. And um, like tips and um, paint mixing and all that type of stuff. So give it a give it a look. You, you, there might be some, there's always something in there. There's something in there for everybody. There's something in there for everybody. So pop along and have a look at that. So I'm just continuing to just to waffle here as I do in Wales, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just trying to build up some some sort of focal points with a little bit of dark, a little bit of light, and just giving yourself something to to look at. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, it could be anything, but as we paint, things start to develop, and sometimes the brush tends to little do things that it wants to do rather than what we wanted to do and we think oh that looks like a building oh that looks like a, a log oh that looks like a rock and we we, we we work around it so never be fearful of your brush strokes always embrace them and allow them to your hand knows best your subconscious is controlling your hand in a lot of cases because i think art comes a lot 
from the um, subconscious part of the brain, even though we've made a conscious decision to paint a certain subject or we've taken a photograph of something and we try to copy that into an art form, our subconscious takes over, our creativity takes over and sometimes we're doing things that we're not even thinking about. Have, have anybody been in a car with someone and um, or driven a car and you're going down the road and you've got to go to the shops and before you know it you've passed the shops and you're off you're off down the road to somewhere else and and you're thinking well where why am i here <laughs> why why did I, what am i doing well that's your subconscious taking over and it's the same with art sometimes we do things um in, in, in an unconscious way to create stuff um because our brains are racing super, super fast. We've got these neurons firing around in our brain. And sometimes when we're getting creative, we are thinking faster than we can act. And um, these things are, are, are taken over by the subconscious and they go in, right, we've got to get this down now, boys. Come on, quick, <laughs> before we forget what we're doing. So I'm putting some trunks of the trees in. As you can see, I put a little one in, a, in say in the mid-ground there, as I'm coming towards the foreground. These, these trees are getting slightly bigger. There you go. Put a nice old, big old, chunky old tree there. That's been there for quite a while, a bit like me. It's coming up to my 60th birthday now. So he's been there a good 60 years, just doing what he does, being, being a tree. And um, yes, but as you can see, it's a bit bigger. So I've already created distance. I've already created that depth by just putting three thick lines in, a thick line, a medium line, and a thin line, and that's already given me that illusion of depth. Look at how far that mountain is now in, in, in the background. And don't forget, this is painting on a flat surface. It's, it's, it's basically two-dimensional. It's not, you know, we'll be trying to create a three-dimensional view here on a two-dimensional surface, and that's what art's all about. It is not an easy thing to do. So never beat yourself up, never kick yourself um, about your abilities. Always embrace your abilities and just accept what's happening. But learn from those, learn. Bit of medium tone going in now, a little bit of green, a little bit of color, just top going on top of that shadow color that I put in, that block out color. And that's gonna start to bring that um, the greenery to life. So we're gonna be putting some highlights on that shortly. So yeah, just embrace your mistakes and, and learn from them. That's how that's how we. I've said it so many times before. That, that's how we learn to walk. Because if we didn't fall down when we were children and our parents pick us up, we wouldn't walk. We all be crawling around like, you know, on our, our hands and knees, and um, we just learn to, to to walk and and we get hurt in the process along the way. And that's the same in 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 life in general. You know, we all get. We all go through things in lives where it hurts sometimes, but we never make those mistakes again. And sometimes it improves our lives by getting hurt. Um, I know that's a strange thing to say, but it's true. Sometimes we've got to get hurt in order to move forward. And it's the same with art, that we have to make mistakes in order to learn so we can improve our in interpretation of what we are trying to um, project onto a, uh, onto a piece of paper or canvas or board or whatever we paint on with some with some paints basically you can imagine the Picard caveman in the cave millions of years ago um, falling over and putting his hands in the in this red old clay muddy stuff and thinking oh what have I done I want to eat my piece of meat I'm starving so he gets his hands and he slaps them on the cave wall and he goes oh that looks like that dinosaur I killed this morning. If I get a bit of charcoal out of the fire and perhaps make a face, I, that, that could be a nice painting. Oh, I've decorated my cave. And that's how art started. Imagination and mistakes. There we go. Just something to think about. Something to, to for this old Welshman stuck here in Wales uh, to waffle on about. So, yeah. Just, just just, me talking, really. So as you can see, I put some highlights on these trees. Um, I put the, I put the, um, the dark color in, and I put some mid-tone color in, and then I put some highlights in, and now I'm proceeding to put some highlights into the, um, the foreground zone, as I call it, and just a little bit of light 
in the um the the the, the the background there just as if there's a little bit of light catching through the shadows coming down off the trees and you can see all these little um, light rays and light areas on the grass all of a sudden this grass area is starting to develop and get nice and bright and this is exactly what we want we want to get this looking nice don't forget those dark spots don't forget it's not all about light it sometimes is about shadows can be so effective so don't forget those shadows and um, don't kill all the good bits by putting in too much of the good things um, we think like this we got to have light we got to put some light in here but don't kill all the negativity negativity helps what i'm saying is negativity shadows and light work together so well so don't forget don't kill everything by being over is it over enthusiastic with your brush just let little tiny little, little little tiny little brush strokes you can see this could be a this could be a river couldn't it not a path but it could be a river so you know i know it looks a bit blue it could be quite easily a stream or a creek it doesn't have to be just a path so it, it all works everything you paint you paint in the same way you paint darks midtones and lights and it's just how you put that paint on and what you're trying to emulate look at that little bit of shadow i'm putting in there now all of a sudden you can see this shadow so the light is coming from the right hand side is casting that shadow over all the way over that lovely light path again a bit more shadow breaking up that that path or river or whatever you've painted and don't forget this is your painting this is your world it can be anything you want so i'm just putting some shadow lines in there just to show you that you can break that up with a little bit of negativity. Yes, I'm I'm quite liking this painting. I really am. I should paint on paper more often, I think. Sometimes it's like being out and I'm painting um in in outdoors, you know. Um I was gonna say al fresco, but that's more about eating food outdoors rather than painting. So I'm gonna put some posts in so i'm going to use a, a, a brush just to give myself a guide to get a straight line have a bit of fun if i was painting outside this is what i would do because i wouldn't have my tools i wouldn't have rulers and things like that so i'm just going to use the side of my brush just to get some sort of a post look at that easy easy breezy easy breezy lemon squeezy and there we already got a post in there so that could be um, a telegraph post it could be a lamp post it could be anything like that those type of things that I'm thinking of, a mast or something like that, but mainly a telegraph post, a power line, cost possibly power lines. There we go. Who knows? You make it up as you go along. So there we go. We've got some of them in already, and now a little bit of free hand work. Don't don't breathe. Take a deep breath. <sighs> right. Okay. Get that straight line in there. You can do it. I believe in you. There you go. Another one. So far away. It's a tiny little thing. There we are. And I'm just going to put a couple of lines across the top because I've decided now that these are going to be power lines. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Easy breezy. There we are. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. All done. My little Molly Moose is barking. I don't know what she's seen a cat or something. I'm actually sitting here and she's running around. <laughs> I love my little Molly in the studio. So we'll put these little shadow lines in just to um, bring that together. As you could see, um, I'm going to put some um, cables in now. Very, very thin brush, very, very thin paint, just to give that essence of realism. Don't worry too much about it. Just get them in there and have a little bit of a, oops, let's get rid of that. Made a bit of a mistake there. If you do it quick, you can get away with it. Just a little bit of a bend in that because the weight of those cables over that distance will make them bend just a little bit. Just a little bit of realism there. And again, as we go back into the distance, we just need to, to put them in as tight and close together as possible. Oops, there's another mistake. Just, just go with it. Embrace those mistakes. Sometimes, sometimes they happen just to challenge us there we go a little bit of moisture on my brush just washing away that 
little bit of paint there we go ah it's okay don't worry too much about it we could be doing this outdoors look at that distance that we've created there already by a simple 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 painting some sky some distant mountains that we can't see really just misty old mountains there there we are and then we put some um, distant tree thing shapes in there we have put a path in we put some different colors on the on the grass as we come in forward we get in darker we put some shadows with some trees there we put some highlights on those trees and all of a sudden as if by magic we've developed this perspective painting there we go and it's a simple process isn't it if you think about it it's just a couple of trees some power lines and some distant mountains and look what we've created we could sell this on a craft fair couldn't you and if you want to sell things on a craft fair don't forget to check out my videos my playlists don't forget to like comment share and subscribe don't forget to click that play button notifications you need to set to all and you'll see all these wonderful tips i give some fantastic tips on how to sell paintings how to do your artwork how to price your artwork um, but you need to go to the channel to check those latest videos out have a look in the playlists and, and see those and that's going to give you some help and advice there so thank you very much for joining me here today in the studio i'm just going to continue painting this just putting some highlights in and uh, hopefully i will see you in the studio again shortly uh, so as i said don't forget to click that subscribe button have a nice day and happy painting it's time to learn with our friend clive so grab your brush have a great time and don't forget to click subscribe.